Hello and welcome to another edition of a Yorkshire Chef. This week I'm making Yorkshire pasties. It's uh, as opposed to Cornish pasties, but I, I like to think they come from Yorkshire anyway. Anyway, let's get started. Here's our ingredients. Um, 250 grams of flour, some, uh, some turkey mince, and some bacon and uh, an onion. Basically, you can put out you want into a pasty, but it's re re really now a here and all there. First thing you want to do is make up your pastry. Put your flour into your bowl, sieve it first, and you can use either lard or, in this instance, margarine. So you want about 150 grams of margarine. And you want a crumbly, crumb sort of texture for this. And it's your basic rubbed in method. this morning, I've been working on bike and all you do is rub it in like that until you get a nice crumbly crumb sort of texture and you also add water Now you've got a nice crumbly, crumb sort of texture. And next you want to add your water. Um, you do this gradually. About roughly two tablespoons. Best not run it under tap like that. Two tablespoons and make it nice and firm. Would help if you put some flour on your hands as well before doing it. Because it sticks like mad. Put some flour on your hands before you start because it does tend to stick a bit. <clears throat> Put it under the tap again. I won't have visor on it under tap like that, but just for convenience sake. Get it nice and firm. Just knead it with your hands like that. When you've got your pastry dough to a nice firm consistency, you want to bread your work, well flour your work surface and just knead it gently. It looks a bit dry. Looks a bit dry. You can always add a bit more water as you go. Let's add a bit more cold water as you go. Let's get it to a nice so it's all consistency and just knead that and fold that in just knead and fold with your fingers like that you don't want to overdo it with water at this stage you said I didn't add enough before Probably make a few pasties with this 
there's quite a lot of dough. Let's add a bit more. Make sure you use cold water as well. It's always best if you use cold, it makes it stick, stick better. It's knead and fold like that. And you get your nice doughy sort of mixture there. Next thing you want to do is roll it out. So get your rolling pin or in this case a stainless steel flask. Just cover that with flour. I'll try and cover it with flour. And just roll it out like that. <coughs> Always helps if you make a nice ball shape to start with. You don't want it so thick, just a couple of millimetres consistency. You want to be able to pick it up like that. Some uh, pizza chefs would show off at this point and throw it up in the air, but it would probably come apart. I wouldn't advise it. That with flour. <clears throat> and just to get your nice even round shape, we'll roll it out a bit more. You want a nice even round shape, or it doesn't really matter if it's a bit oblique or all like that. But as long as you can lift it up with a benchmark. Add it out. <clears throat> now you're ready to put your ingredients on. The thing about a Yorkshire pasty is you can put practically whatever you want in. So to start with, I'm putting diced potato in. And the thing about doing this is potato takes forever to boil. So the best way to do this is to Dice it up really small, in fact smaller than this. And just to cover your pasty base, get a nice covering on there with diced potato. Get a nice covering of diced potato on there. It needs to be done really small so it cooks easily. The next thing you want is some onions. And you can put out what you want into a Yorkshire pasty. As, as opposed to a Cornish pasty. I call it Yorkshire pasty because um, contrary to popular belief, Cornish don't have monopoly on pasty making. Now you can put your onions in and uh, a basic health and safety tip while we're doing this is when you finish chopping up onions always wash your hands afterwards because when you go to rub your eyes will sting like hell. Arrange your uh, onions. Most people mix their ingredients beforehand and turn it into a horrible mush. These caterers do that and it's not very nice. It's better if you do your ingredients dry beforehand and it makes for a nicer pasty. Arrange your onions and uh, wash your hands afterwards. There's the kelp and safety. <clears throat> then you want your turkey mince, or you can put any type of mince in you want. This is your main meat ingredient. Turkey mince in, starting from borders, from edge. It's nice to have everything laid out nice and neatly when you're making one of these. Most um, chefs don't do that, they just bung everything in willy nilly. This is my main body at pasties, turkey mince. You can put beef mince in or any other type of mince. It doesn't really matter. 
long as it takes only about 20 minutes to cook. That's the golden rule of pasty making. Then you can put some bacon in. It's not absolutely necessary to use bacon, but it's always nice to add it. Put a few strips of bacon in. Of course you should cut round off first and you stir, have it in a sort of a circle like that. Two or three strips should do it. I'm going to be extravagant and use three. One foot middle. Then when you've added all your ingredients in you need to uh, fold it over. Just round your uh, ingredients and fold it over. A nice touch is to uh, crimp edge with a spoon use a teaspoon or any spoon for that matter not good <clears throat> then just brush some uh, egg yolk on or egg white fortunately I don't have out to brush egg yolk on with but not a brilliant way of doing it this. Just lace it on with a teaspoon. Not the best way of doing it. You normally brush it but I don't have a pastry brush so this I'll have to do. Next thing you want to do is Pick it up by edges, fold it over, gently fold it over, very careful, like that. Fold your pasty over, it's a bit of a bulk, bit of a big pasta this, which is always nice, so it gives you a decent meal. Let's see that play about with camera there. Just crimp it down with a spoon. Most most past most um, pasty chefs will probably fold it over but that's going at it, going at it a bit. That's what we're doing, catering business anyway. Cut off any unsightly edges. Print that down nicely with knife. Now you have your pasta. I know this is uh, showing off a bit, but put my initials in there, YC for Yorkshire Chef. It's not really necessary, it's a bit of showboating, but why not? And after um, half an hour in oven, is a... Uh, is a... Uh, interference, Yorkshire pasta.